Right, so here it is, our new LC79 Super Tourer MM. MM stands for Mini Mega Tourer. So what we've done, we've taken all the design cues from the Mega Tourer and we've put them onto a standard chassis, no extension 79 series, that we're now offering as a product uh, from Peacor in the Super Tourer range. So I'll give you a quick walk around there. I actually ordered this vehicle straight out of Toyota Japan in the original sandy top colour. There's a couple of them uh, getting around now in Australia. I saw one a while ago for, a, actually it wasn't a customer, it was Jason with J-Max, was the first one that, uh, that I've seen. Absolutely in love with the colour, something a little bit different. So that's a factory colour. You can see we've got the Mega Tour, uh front bar. We're manufacturing them under licence now with uh, TJM. So it's still a TJM product, but built in-house. That's Patriot Campus, Mega Tour front grill, GME whip, obviously your TJM torque front winch as well, which I forgot to mention on the Ranger. Now moving around the side, we've done a bit of a variation on the guards that we put on the Mega Tour. So you can see we've got these massive uh, sheet metal guards. That's allowing us to run on this truck a negative 25 offset wheel, which is the biggest that you can go legally. Standard 79 comes on the zero, so we've pushed the wheels out 25 mil, which effectively over both sides, you've got a 50 mil wider track, so there is a reason for it. Now, one of the things in the 79 series that I'm pretty adamant that you have to do is correct the track. For those who don't know, 79 series at the front is wider than it is at the back, so the track is actually offset on the 79. Your front sits out here, your back sits out there. So what we've done is we've put in the J-Max dip correction kit, still on leaf screen, so this isn't a full coil conversion, that matches the track of the 79 from the front to the back. We've got uh, TJM side steps with the Patriot Campers top on them, Patriot Campers simple side uh, top, Super Tourer uh, decals, we've got the Mega Tourer roof rack. So what it is, it's a Rhino Rack Pioneer platform, and then we've built all the sheet metal to house the X-ray lights on the side, and the twin 1200 mil quad optic light bars at the top. Really cool look, super sleek, super low profile too. So even my Mega Tourer, when I sack it on the bag, I can still put it in a standard car park or I'll park it in the garage at home. This is the new Peacor tray for the 79 series. So this is a standard dual cab, like I said, no extension. This is the same tray that we have on the Ranger, obviously modified for the 79. You can see at the front, we've purposely kept the width of the tray, so you got an 1800 wide tray, which really suits the look of the 79, that, that kind of boxy shape. On here, we've got a Peacor uh, half canopy. You can fit a fridge slide in here. We haven't got one fitted to this one, but a uh, MSA fridge slide, and you can put up to a 65 litre uh, Dometic Waco fridge in the side. You've got your central locking toolboxes, same as all the new Peacor range. Once again, this tray here is all aluminium. I don't actually know the specifics on the weight on this one, but I know it's lighter than the Ranger. This one will come in somewhere around 250 kilos, which does wonders for your GVM. Now with all the new GVM laws that have just been passed, um, I think the game's about to change uh, with the 79 series and even the, the top 200 series, you know? So, so I'm interested to see how that goes down the track, but we've got something else to combat that, which I'll show you a little bit later on in the video. Coming around the back, uh, rear winch is standard on the Mini uh, Mega Tourer, another TJM Torque winch on a Peacor cradle um, that's bolted into the chassis. Massive rear drawer, once again, you've got an 85 litre water tank in front of the drawer with a pressurised electric pump with a tap at the back. Coming around the back on this one, we've got an Anderson plug and obviously your trailer light plug for any towing and you've got your water tap underneath here with a switch for the electric pump. Now, this tray can come uh, with or without sides. It's worth noting, if you check out Peacor4x4.com, all the pricing and options is on there for this particular vehicle now. So the website is now live. The canopy is not included, and it only comes with one spare. So the options on this one is the spare wheel and the canopy. Standard, you get drop-down sides, same as you do on the Ranger. With this one here, we've gone with the Mickey Thompson 30565. So they're a 33 inch tire still, but a little bit wider to give that tougher stance. And we've gone with a 17 by nine inch steel wheel, something really cool. All right, we've done something on this truck that you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate. But me personally, I absolutely love it. And this is keeping a little bit old school and keeping the creative in the designs. All of these scrolls that are gonna be featured on the Mega Tourer, uh, Mini Mega Tourer, sorry, are all hand painted by a local artist uh, up on the Gold Coast. So with pinstripes, and he does this all freehand with a brush to actually watch it is, is pretty incredible, you know, to see someone with that sort of talent. Um, so we scroll the back, 
We've also got matching pinstripes from Sandy Torp and Red on the wheels. And then the scrolls and the pinstripes all the way down. Now, I think I'm a bit of a trucker at the moment after driving that big Mac down here. And that's where the idea come from. So we, we pulled a little bit of inspiration from there. And that's something that I really love that, that makes this truck special. All right, on the other side of the canopy, um, this one here, this is the standard canopy. You can option this canopy up with the full red arc suite. We haven't done it on this particular vehicle. We've got the big pull-out drawer that's gonna feature the Pecor logo, diesel filler in the side. Um, this vehicle in its standard uh, form is gonna be featuring the TJM XGS suspension as well. Like I said before, still on leaf springs. Inside, there isn't much that we've done. Sand grabber floor mats, Hema Navigator, so that's it guys, a brief walk around the Mini Mega Tour at the Melbourne 4x4 show. Over the coming weeks, we're gonna to put together a proper uh, video on this and go into a lot of detail. But in the meantime, jump on pcor4x4.com and you can see all the information on the new range of trays, the Mini Mega Tour and our whole Super Tourer range.